Okay, so you want to create a MIDI mock-up with virtual instruments with a digital performer. How do you do this? Okay, click inside this area here. You can add an instrument track. Use the one that you want to, an instrument that you want to do. I'm going to choose Mercado Strings. It's right here. Okay, then you need a MIDI track. And then you need an auxiliary track. When you do an auxiliary track, that's going to enable you to put effects within that instrument. Now I'm going to alt left click into the track name section. I'm going to write mark strings. Alt right click, you know, left click again. Control C. Alt click in here. Control V. I'm just copying and pasting. Left click, control V. Now they all have marked strings. Now at first, you're not going to hear anything when you have your instrument up, okay? See, so yeah, I have it up, but it's not making a noise. The reason is, is because in your output section, you have to put, have to left click right here until you find marked strings, where you just named your MIDI or your instrument. Now, voila, you have sound. Next thing is, okay, so you want the string section to have a reverb, okay? So I'm going to go to my mixing board. Now, another way you can do that, if you want to see this screen as well as a mixing board, go down to the bottom here, there's a little, like, little dot. Bring that up, and that gives you multiple screens to bring up, windows. I'm going to go and I'm going to click mixing board. So now I have this section and this section both. But, wait a minute, there's only one mixing track, what do I do next? I want to see all three of them, right? Well, if you click this little window here, the bottom is a little uh, box with like a window. Now you have to your side here, you have all of your different tracks that you've added. So now there's all three. Now, the way to add an effect into the auxiliary track, you have to create a bus. And the way to do that is you have to go to Studio, Bundles, go to your Buses, <clears throat> and you're going to Add. And again, to rename a track, you Alt, left click into that track, and you're going to name it whatever you want to name your effect. I'm putting Reverb just for the heck of it. Okay, so now we have a Reverb Bus within our doll. The way to access that is by going to your auxiliary track, sorry, brain fart, go to auxiliary track and press reverb stereo or whatever effect you put. Okay, still there's not the reverb that you're wanting, right? You have to add the effect in that auxiliary track. So go up here and go find the one that you want to use. I like using East West Spaces too. I'm going to add another preset. I like their specific let's see strings here. Digital Hollywood. I mean, they are. All right. Still no sound. That's because you have to link them together. As if you're taking an auxiliary cord and you're plugging one thing into another in hardware. So right here on your instrument track, you have these sins, sorry. And I'm going to click on reverb. And now look. You can also see now that there's sound coming from that. Say so you want more. You want to press it up. The fader. Less. Anyway, so that's how you add different effects to the track. Let's say that you wanted something different besides reverb. Let's do um, a delay of some sort, an echo. Something very noticeable. Let's do a changing swing. Here, that now has that echo effect to it. Now you have these instruments here, but you want them grouped together, so you're going to control Click on all three of those tracks. Click, and then you can see new track folder. 
and you can name your track whatever you want to. Again, I'm going to put Mercado Strings. And there we have it. Same thing if you're going to do a different instrument, right? So let's do another instrument, for example. Click. You need three tracks. You need a MIDI track, an instrument track, and an auxiliary track. And the auxiliary track is to your liking. You don't have to do that every time. It's just if you're going to have some effects on that track, then I would do it. Let's go ahead and change these colors so I don't get them confused with the folder above it. Um, so the instrument I'm going to choose, I'm going to do solo violin. No, I do a lot of strings. I'm biased. I'm a cellist. So let's do piano. 80s piano. Again, no sound. Why is there no sound? Because you have to take your output here, where your MIDI channel is, and find the channel that you just made. Now, the reason why I said play one is because I didn't name this track. So I'm going to go ahead and say 80s piano. Copy all that and put on each one. Now, 80s piano is available. See how it changed to 80s piano? Because I named that track. That's how you find those. So now we have. And I want to add some reverb. So the way to do that, oh, I need to make a new bus. Go to bundles, buses, add. I'm going to put piano reverb so I don't get those confused. Find reverb here. Piano reverb is now available. You want your instrument to play that. So go to your 80s track and link that through your send to piano reverb. Those two linked together. Let's add now an effect to that track. We're going to go to all east west. Make it wet. There we go. And that is how you write with MIDI instruments, virtual instruments, through your digital performer. This is Digital Performer 9. I still haven't upgraded yet. Gotta get paid again. Anyways, I've looked for a tutorial like this myself when I first started Digital Performer and could not find anything. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Have a good night.